Hey guys, Kayla here. Welcome back to another video. So today I want to show you something that I've never shown you before. Uh, I've done what I eat in a day videos, but I've never done a what I eat in a week video. So I want to do this because, you know, it's more realistic than a what I eat in a day video. And it's kind of just to show like the normality of my life that I never thought that I could get to. Uh, I eat when my mind starts thinking about food or my stomach starts uh, asking for food and I don't look at the time. Before you fast forward and just be like, show me the food, listen to me really quick about what I want to say before we go into the what I eat in a week video clips, okay? What I want to say though from the start is to always like with these what I eat in a day videos, what I eat in a week videos, is to never compare about what you're doing to what I'm doing, uh, what to someone else is doing, and to always remember that this is not what I ate or how I ate when I was in recovery, especially in the beginning, okay? Because you can go back and you know the whole spiel, I ate over 10,000 calories a day. I had to get through that period in order to get recovered and to be where I am today for everything to balance out my hunger and satiety to balance out. So if you're in the beginning of recovery and you're eating a certain way and you're challenging your fear foods and you're craving sugar all the time and that's all you can eat is sugar and then of course you seeing what I'm eating now after being recovered, if you're taking it so literal of that this is what you have to do right this second, that's just not what you want to do because you need to just do you. So if anything out of all of this, why I'm doing this is to maybe just give you something to look forward to that it can happen, that your hunger does balance out and you become just normal around food again. Because there are plenty of disordered what I eat in a day videos with crazy exercise regimes and um, all these diet restrictions. And so, you know, this is just kind of like a normal what I eat in a day video. I'm not low this or low that. I'm just not gonna limit myself to those kinds of things ever again and label myself anything. Like I'm just, I eat what I want, cravings change, life goes on. Obviously things have changed from now to when I was early on in my recovery or even a year in recovery, things have changed. Like just don't question what you're doing, like continue to listen to your body rather than anything external, eating intuitively and instinctually. Your body will guide you through the process of it balancing out. And I know that in the beginning of my recovery, I was triggered by everything kind of, like I just got really triggered really easily. So um, I just want to say that to a heads up, someone, somewhere is gonna be like, oh no, like this is a terrible video, you shouldn't have done this. Like, oh, now I'm gonna question everything that I'm doing just because you showed me this. And it's just, you know, I, I try my best to not be triggering to say the right thing so no one gets, you know, swayed in a specific way, but I can only do my best. And I've heard from a lot of people that these videos help a lot to see a normal eater just eat normal foods. But then there's also those other people that are just like, oh no, how could you eat that? Like I'm in my recovery and I could eat way more than you. Like, and I'm just craving donuts all day and 24 seven. And then they get upset and triggered and you know, so I'm doing this for the people that could benefit from this. So if you know that that's you and you take everything so literal and 100% to the T, if this person's doing it, I have to do it just like that right now then I would advise you to not watch this video. But if you just are, you're sick of all of these like high carb, low fat, what I eat in a day videos or keto, what I eat in a day videos or 100% whole foods only, what I eat in a day videos and you want just some normalcy, then maybe this video will help you. Because I too, in my recovery, I felt like I could eat all day long, every second and every moment even during the night, every second, every moment. I've been there too. And we have this habit in our culture, look at where someone is right now and not look at the journey of how they got there. Because this was a few years in the making to get to where I am, right? So I know this is a long introduction, but I just felt like I had to make this disclaimer and explain this before I go into this. There will always be this side of the coin where people are like, oh, you're eating disordered, you're disordered, blah, blah, blah. Then there's the other side that are like, oh wow, like you eat so much and I wish I could eat those foods. It's hard to please everyone. I wish I would have had these kinds of videos in my recovery. So 
I'm just trying to do things of what I wish I would have seen more of. Obviously, I'm not gonna tell you the times I'm eating because times are irrelevant, right? I'm not gonna show you the amounts because that's irrelevant. Different people have different needs for different amounts of calories that fluctuates all the time. So one person may eat 10,000 calories, one person may eat 15,000 calories, one person may eat 7,000 calories, another eats 5,000 calories, another eats 3,500 calories either during or after recovery. And it may look completely different for all, for cravings, for amounts, for times, all of this stuff. So Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I work from home with Dampa Diets. YouTube, client calls, emails, that kind of stuff. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, I go to help out the Man Panion hubby at the shop with his business. So with that said, um, I'm not really feeling breakfasty foods today. So I just wanna dive into today with a sandwich. So you've seen me how to make my sandwiches in my other what I eat in a day video. Um, that's what I'm gonna do pretty much. Just a turkey sandwich, cheese, mayo, lettuce, on sourdough bread. Um, I'm gonna bring some snacks, like some chocolate acai berries or something from Costco, some little fruit snacks, maybe some chips, and then we'll see what we'll do later for lunch. So yeah, maybe I'll show you that when we pop it out when I get to the shop. Tuesday, so we're definitely gonna have to get some tacos. So it's lunchtime, and I can't really think of what I want to eat. I've kind of been just standing in front of the fridge and the pantry and going back and forth. Can't really figure out what I want to eat. I've already had some jalapeno olives, and I just had one of these chocolate Klondike bars while I'm figuring out what I want to eat. <laughs> I'll let you know what I end up having. Oh, see, by the way, do you see? My leather patch, what it says? It says Damsey Diets. And get on with your life to get your life back. Okay, so let's figure out what I'm gonna eat. Okay, so checking back in, what did I end up eating? I kind of, I don't know, I just didn't, wasn't craving like just a regular meal, so I just ended up snacking on things that were in the fridge and pantry. I had some refried beans <laughs> out of the can. This is where it came from. I had another one in the pantry. I had some of that, and then I had some bread dipped in olive oil and vinegar. So yeah, sometimes you just have meals that aren't perfect. Yeah, that kind of just satisfied me. <laughs> so I'm gonna get back to work. Man Panion made us dinner tonight and he likes to make up creations. So he made shrimp scampi with like a ton of butter and garlic. And then after he put the noodles in with the butter sauce and shrimp. Scampy, and it tastes so good. So 
I know if a dietitian or nutritionist reviewed my what I eat in a day week video that they would not be too happy or pleased, huh? <laughs> but you know what? I feel a heck of a lot healthier overall in general now the way I eat and the way I move my body than I ever did on a completely whole foods clean lifestyle or diet. Even if they have to say, oh, that's a lot of salt or oh, that's too much sugar or whatever other criticisms they have to say, well, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just doing me. I'm currently at the shop bringing my poop burrito, pee and poop. Have you guys formally met my fur baby? Say hi! He's my babe. Anyways, I'll talk to you soon. a quick lunch that I had some leftover white rice and some avocado and this is for chicken that that I cooked in the crock pot cooked in zesty Italian dressing So a few last things before we end this video. Did I crave vegetables in my recovery? No, I didn't at all for a while. Two, did I have just a dollop of peanut butter in my recovery? No. I had the whole jar of peanut butter every single day <laughs> until that craving eased. Did I crave this much savory food? No. I wanted sugar all day long every day for a while, besides pizza, of course. <laughs> Did I have like 10 times the amount that I'm eating right now? Absolutely. And that went on for quite some time. Was recovery just all about the food? A big part of it is food first, but then it's a lot more of the mental. The mental recovery, along with the physical recovery. It's a lot more mental and emotional. It can be fun in the food sense, but a lot of it is really challenging, really anxiety provoking, really a lot of fears come up in all sorts of ways. But is it worth it? 110%. So with that said, I hope that this video was enjoyable. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.